Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a late, out of date, raw review. Full show review, there, a rare full show review. Just woke up from like a four hour nap, feeling burnt out from all this wrestling, there. I enjoy mania shit like this, but. I just feel mentally boint, you know what I'm saying? Um, raw after mania, this vid might suck a little bit there. I feel like I'm still half asleep there. Long fucking thing, so... This is gonna be a long, boring review there. I'm not, uh... Not feeling at my best right now, ladies and gentlemen, but... The show started off with Stephanie McMahon cutting a promo, praising herself there in a funny way. Oh, like she was like talking about Ronda Rousey style. Oh, they were wondering how she would tra tra transition to a wrestler, blah, blah, blah. And I, I transitioned well, like she was talking makes it sound like she's talking about Rusi, but she's talking about herself kind of deal. Praising herself for the match. She made Ronda look good, this and that, so... Praising herself, and then she said her and Ronda could be friends. Ronda comes out. Um... Like, with your star power and my reach, something like this, we could do big things together. Rhonda shakes her hand, gives her a hug, if I remember there. And then she toined on her, beat her up, gave her the arm bar again there, so... Like a female version of Austin and McMahon kind of deal. Um... It was an okay segment. Not sure when we're going to see her again, Ronda. Possibly at SummerSlam. That's what I'm guessing. Maybe before. Who knows there. First match. Nia Jax and Ember Moon, who made her debut on the main roster. Um, they defeated Alexa Bliss and Mickie James, just a quick match to show off the new Ember Moon from NXT. A decent body on her or whatever there, but uh, we'll see what else she's got. She's got a cool finish, you know, that jumping flip stunner thing, got a good reaction there, so... We'll give her a chance, see what she has to offer there. With her thick body, a nice thick body on her, I'll give her that with a cool finisher, so. It's better than nothing. And then Braun Strowman and Nicholas were backstage. Nicholas getting a giant reaction from the crowd. More popular than Roman Reigns, this eight, nine-year-old boy there. Um, so Strowman said that they were going to relinquish the belts because there's a, 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 a schedule conflict. He's still in the fourth grade or whatever. When he's done with school, they're going to fight for the belts again, something like this. So that's the end of Nicholas. It happened for one night. They gave up the belts. It is what it is, I guess. It's not that horrible that the kid won the tag team titles. It kind of is horrible, but... It was like a special for one night only, kind of like when Zack Ryder won the big belt there and he, he lost it the next day kind of deal. It was funny, it got this Nicholas kid over, so it is what it is. 
Second match, No Way Jose debuted on the main roster. He defeated some job guy in about 10 seconds. Threw him up in the air. Pow! One, two, three. Um, so No Way Jose, I guess it's just his entrance there. Dancing with a group of people, it's the entrance is a bit like that guy who came out with a bunch of people behind him. Don't remember his name there, but it's that's pretty much what it's going to be. No way, Jose, just a goofy entrance every week. I hope they don't do like they did last year every week. They had like an Apollo Crews match and I hope it's not like every week there's a No Way Jose match and uh, shit like this. I don't think they're going to get far with No Way Jose with just a dancing goofball gimmick there but. We'll see where this goes. It probably won't go that far there. Third match. Um, the Revival defeated Gallows and Anderson. This is like a mini tournament for the tag team titles. I think the winner of this little thing is going to face Sheamus and Cesaro. Um at Backlash or something like this there, so the Revival defeated Gallows and Anderson an okay match, I guess nothing special the Revival uh, are they good, these guys? what's the big deal with, with the Revival? two plain guys, they had good matches in NXT there Oh, they're old school. By old school, I guess that just means that they're plain and boring. <laughs> I don't know, but... I guess they'll win the tag belts eventually. Not right now, I doubt it. And then you had Rollins cutting the promo. Balor comes out. Oh, I'll give you the first shot at the belt. Seth Rollins comes out, or, or The Miz, and The Miz Taraj comes out. Let's have a match, the three of us against the two of us. Jeff Hardy comes out for some reason, and this set up the main event later in the night. A lot of details to go through here, people. I'm half asleep, Jesus Christ. Fourth match, Mandy Rose defeated Sasha Banks because Bailey fucked up. I think she tried to help Sasha, but it backfired. Mandy Rose gets the win. After this, Paige did like her retirement speech, which was a bit sad there. It sucks for Paige having to retire all that work to come back and now she has to retire. She said Daniel Bryan gives her hope for the future. Um, with a neck injury, we'll see how that plays out. I don't know if she'll ever come back there, but... They could have given her some kind of job to do. Hopefully they won't just release her, you know what I mean? Lots of bad luck for Paige throughout her career there. The porn shit, Alberto Del Rio stuff about she's too skinny, blah blah blah. Finally comes back and gets hurt again. That fucking sucks for her, you know. So hopefully we'll see her again in the future. Elias Samson comes out. Big cheers from the crowd. Shit like this. He's playing the guitar. And Bobby Lashley comes out. I made a little vid about this. Lashley came out just... Gave him a mean look, dear. Like this. 
And then he gave him a suplex, one of those suplexes, he just held them up for what felt like 20 minutes, nails him with the suplex and just walked out. It was okay to see Lashley there. There's potential for big tangs, but somebody wrote in my comments it seemed a bit underwhelming. <laughs> little bit there, a little bit. Just came out, didn't say anything, a suplex and leaves. They could have done something more there. Why is he coming out against Elias? I don't know. Um, so then we had Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn backstage. They're trying to get a job or whatever. They're asking Angle for a job. Angle says... I hear that they're hiring over in TNA, ladies and gentlemen. Big coin mentions TNA, WWE taking a shot at TNA. This might increase their viewership, I don't know. There I heard that the viewership went down again since the baseball bat incident. They got a bit of freak views there. I heard the views went down again. Maybe they're going to respond somehow. and But it's pre-tape, so maybe in four months they'll respond to this. <laughs> Who knows, ladies and gentlemen. But um, an obvious shot at TNA here because they took all their wrestlers, you know. I heard TNA is hiring, that's an obvious shot about this, taking all their talent there. So they set up a match, there's one spot open. If one of you wins, you get, you get hired. So basically it's like Heath Slater, when he was trying to get a job kind of deal, I guess they're going to rehash this. With Owens and Zayn there. Fifth match. The Otters of Pain defeated Slater and Rhino. Um, so Otters of Pain making their debut. At the end they, they like ditched Paul Hellering. They were walking away with him. They both went like this or something. And he just stayed there and they walked away. I don't know, maybe he's still standing there right now. Should I, should I, can I go back now, guys? Or, but I think them getting rid of Hellering is a mistake because, like, he kind of added to their image, you know what I mean? Maybe WWE thinks he's too old for the main roster. We got enough creepy old men backstage. We don't need one on TV, maybe. I don't know there. Um, but the Otters of Pain. You know, two big guys. I don't know if they've ever cut a promo. They're dressed like the Shield. They're big, you know, but... I don't know how far they're going to get with these guys. I don't really feel these guys, you know what I mean? They just seem like two big dummies, <laughs> you know what I mean? Two big dummies dressed in black. Okay, well, I'm not sure how, where they're going to go with these guys. I could be wrong there, but I don't see big tangs in their future. They might end up like... Uh, those two goofballs on SmackDown, they're the Ascension or whatever, but we'll see what happens. Roman Reigns came out to cut a promo. He was upset at the company. They said Lesnar was leaving. He signed the new deal, blah, blah, blah. Samoa Joe came out to make fun of him, calling him a fail this and that and uh, making fun of him for losing to Lesnar and he kind of is a fail at least as a, a baby face as the next 
fucking face of the company. He's a giant fucking fail. You know what I mean? Joe said there's a match if he if he loses again to Lesnar, then Joe's gonna be waiting for him at Backlash. Hopefully Reigns doesn't beat Lesnar, he might. But um Hopefully he doesn't because yeah. If they didn't pull the trigger at Mania and they give him the, the belt at this throwaway Arabian show, then it's not going to be the same. He's still going to look like a loser kind of deal. So hopefully they don't fucking put the belt on him and we can move on and actually enjoy wrestling, have something that intrigues us a little bit. I'd rather see Joe with the belt than Roman Reigns, something different. Joe seems like a cool guy, the whole crowd is behind him. <clears throat> they should have had Joe against fucking uh, Brock Lesnar at this greatest Rumble show, but whatever. Decent segment there. Six match. Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt working together as a team. <clears throat> they defeated Titus O'Neil and Apollo Crews. They're advancing in this tag team tournament thing. So, looks like they're going to win the belts there. I guess this is going to be like Broken Matt and Jeff except with Bray Wyatt. And they might use Hardy as a single star, which they should do because Jeff Hardy is a big name, you know. He could be wrestling main events for the world title, shit like this, so. Let's see where this shit goes there. Seventh match, Owens and Zayn had a match, they both were knocked down, they couldn't get up before the end of the 10 count, they both didn't win, so neither of them have a job, so it's like the Heat Slater shit of last year, except there's two guys or whatever. In the main event, Jeff Hardy, Balor and Rollins defeated The Miz and The Miz Taraj. A decent show, I guess, there, but I was expecting something more, you know what I mean? We had the beginning or the debut of Lashley, which is good, but nothing really major there. We have four or five NXT debuts. Of all the NXT debuts, I think Ember Moon is probably the most exciting of the group there no way Jose that's throw away garbage pretty much the authors of pain Blech. it is what it is there nothing good here really um, I think raw was decent at best there it was long <laughs> lots of shit to talk about but uh, it wasn't really a great show. It didn't have a, a big, exciting feel to it. The crowd was good. It was a good enough show. They're a decent show, but, you know, it lacked a big moment. A, a Raw like this, you expect something big to happen. Lashley was the biggest thing. He came out, hit a suplex, and walked out, you know. So, yeah. Not the best of the, the Raw after Mania. Is a decent Raw. Good enough Raw, you know. But could have been better, motherfucker. Where was Lesnar there? A promo to talk about how he's still with the company. Or something like this there, but. Ha, it is what it is. We have the SmackDown after Mania tonight. I think SmackDown is looking more exciting than last night's Raw. 
Jinder Mahal, maybe, with the U.S. title. I think we're getting a rematch between Styles and Nakamura, maybe. They were advertising this, uh, an arena were advertising this. Charlotte against Carmella, I think, is being advertised, so... Kinda looks like SmackDown will be better than last night's Raw, but yeah. So there you go, folks. A full show review. That's the thing. That's why I do these thoughts videos now. Because a lot of things, it's just... Oh, basic match here. Not much to say. Oh, the otters of pain there. And the, but yeah. We're getting back into the zone with the wrestling videos, dog. But sometimes if I have nothing to work with, like like this show of last night, it makes for long and boring vids there. But let's see where the company goes moving forward. Hopefully it's something else besides Roman Reigns because he's a boring motherfucker. It is what it is there. Until next time, peace! Uh...